What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today, as I mentioned yesterday, I want to show you how you can shoot and edit the walk by aka slide by transition in LumaFusion. So let's begin with the shooting. I just used this iPhone camera to uh, show you how it works uh, and we'll flip it for the first shot. So here we go. As you can see, we are standing in front of a window and what we want to have is the landscape fill the whole frame. So like this, okay? On the left side and on the right side are the frames of the window, but we want the uh, landscape to be exposed the right way. So what we are going to do is we going to lock the autofocus and the exposure. So doesn't matter what I'm doing, the exposure stays the same. What we do now, since we want this as a start shot, is we start in the middle of the window, so the whole frame is um, landscape, and then move slowly to the right until the frame moved through the whole video frame. So from the right side to the left side, like this. Again, start there and then move to the right. Make sure everything is lined as straight as possible as this will help you later with um, editing. Now we are going to the next frame. Here we are at the next frame, my kitchen. Again, lock autofocus and exposure. And now do the same, but make sure you're also adding the left and the right frame, so like this. And be sure the speed is pretty much the same like before. Now we are in the last clip we want to shoot. Again, lock autofocus and exposure, and now Again, move from the left to the right through the frame. We are in LumaFusion now. As you can see, we have our three clips in our timeline lined correctly. What we have to do now is add a title layer. Place it at the point where you want the next frame or the next clip come into frame. Double tap to edit, delete the text, add a shape, make it fooling the whole frame, select green color, set opacity a bit down so you can see what we are doing. Go to frame and fit and now start posi positioning it. Set the right rotation so everything looks as good as possible and set a keyframe. Now move on until the last point of the frame. So like this. Also again set the rotation and place the green screen. Now make sure in between everything looks as good as possible. We want the green screen right in the middle between those two windows in the dark area. Just follow my example. This already looks is quite good, but we have to make sure the green screen fills, fills the whole frame. So I forgot to add the last frame. So after that one, we have to add another keyframe and move the green layer. This looks quite good, so we are cutting it here and start with the next one. You can either clone the title layer or just add a new one, which is what I'm doing because I want to be as precise as possible. Also, 
search for your starting point, in this case this one, double tap to edit, remove the text box and add a shape again, change color to green, set opacity a bit down so you can see what you're doing and go to frame and fit and start. In this case, we want a light gray bar on the right side. So what we are doing is go to the first frame, add a keyframe, and then to the last frame and add a keyframe and set the green layer as good as possible. Again, just follow my example. Then go to the point where the whole screen is filled green, delete the rest of the clip. Check if everything looks fine. Set the opacity of title layers to 100% so everything is green. Now we have to export this clip with as good as possible settings. In this case, 100 megabits per second wait until everything has rendered. Now delete the first clips, add our rendered video file and cut it into three clips. You have to be 100% precise, so cut it into three clips like before, like this. This looks good. Now click in the button on the left side to make sure you can drag and drop the video clips freely, like in my example, just follow it. Now what we have to do is to add green screen keys to the first two clips, play with the settings until everything looks fine. So like this, this looks already pretty good. Do the same with the second clip. Also looks good and what we have to do now is to position the clips perfectly play around until everything looks as good as possible so you we want this transition to be as clean and as good as possible just follow my example in this case it's a bit hard because I want the dark part between, between the two clips visible but not too thick. And the problem is that we have a in the second clip a dark area and a white area. And I want to see just a bit of the dark area. Now do the same with the third clip. In this case, it doesn't work because the window frame of the third clip wasn't visible and this one is too thick. So now we have to make sure it's visible, but not too thick. So we have to move it a few frames to the left or right. So I think that one looks very good. Now play it back and see what we've got. So we already got kind of good transitions, but we can make them better. So in the first clip, these two areas are moving in a different speed. What we want to do is to set them the same speed. For this, just set a cut. I think we need a second one, like about here. And now we're speeding it a bit up, in this case about 1.5 times and the second one about 2 or a bit faster than 2. 
and now let's see what we've got. Yeah, that looks quite good. And here we've got the problem that the wall and the um, window frame have a different angle. So what we are going to do, we are going to frame and fit in the third clip, zoom in a bit and change the rotation so the window frame and the wall um, have the same angle. Make sure the whole frame is filled, that's why we have to zoom in. And don't forget to set keyframes because we want to change the angle now again to have the look like we want it to have. Now check it again. Oh, this looks quite good. I think we've got a nearly um, perfect result. The only thing what we could make better is to make sure the window frames and the walls have the same color, so they are matching. If they have exactly the same color, we won't see any transition, which would be the perfect result. This is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to don't miss any video in future. And one more thing, if you want to support me, um, you can either buy one of my um, cell phone store packages, so LUX, transitions, um, and so on. And my promise is I will spend all the money I earn over YouTube or cell phone and so on uh, for gear to improve my videos to show you guys more cool stuff. See you guys next time. Bye.